And we can talk now to the leader of UKIP, the UK Independence Party, Nigel Farage, who's uh, joining us from Brussels. Thanks very much indeed for being with us. So the Prime Minister going in to bat for Britain. Do you wish him luck tonight? Well, I wish him luck. Of course, he's on our side. At least he's supposed to be. Um, but please don't expect him to come back like Santa with a bag, big bag full of presents. Um, at tonight's dinner, they're going to be discussing the migration crisis. They're going to be discussing the economic and monetary union problems they've got. They're going to be discussing terrorism. And actually, the British renegotiation is well down the pecking order. So he won't get much time to say anything. And there is, at the moment, no mood to compromise towards British demands here in Brussels at all. So you don't think he will get any kind of deal? Because, I mean, the mood music we have heard constantly for months now is, is very positive towards Britain. The other EU member states don't want Britain to leave. They'll bend over backwards to stop that happening. Well, you know, you may say that and, and, and you know, they'll give us some assurances that we won't be forced to join the euro. Um, which is rather like saying we won't join European moon landings. It's just not relevant. Um, we'll be told there'll be some deregulation of certain European directives. But the only one substantive demand that the Prime Minister has made, despite all the promises of the Bloomberg speech two years ago, is to restrict migrant benefits for four years. And countries like Poland uh, you know, are saying no. That's discriminatory. That's against the rules. So on the one thing he wants, he will not get it tonight. But he clearly, believes, he, clearly believes he might be able to get some kind of compromise on that issue, that issue of um, in-work migrants' benefits. Well, the only compromise would be uh, that British people would have to lose benefits as well. I would say this. I don't think anything will come out of tonight. Uh, the Prime Minister will come home tomorrow. Um, it'll all look very theatrical. He'll say, unless we get something, uh, you know, I, may, I, I myself may well support uh, Britain leaving the European Union, and then we'll come back here in six weeks' time in February, and there'll be a compromise deal of some kind. But at uh, the end of it all, there will be a referendum. Going. There'll be a referendum, Mr Farage, which is what you've always wanted. Yeah. Absolutely, and I'm delighted, and I'm thrilled. I just wish uh, that the British renegotiation was a genuine one, and we were talking about the ability of Parliament to veto laws. I wish we were talking about the fact that it costs us more than £50 million a day to be a member of this club. And above all, the fact we now have an open door to nearly 500 million people. None of that is even being discussed. And given that the one thing the Prime Minister wants, he's finding tough to get, namely concessions on migrant benefits, that to me explains why... The opinion polls are now moving in the direction of the British people saying we want to trade with Europe but not be part of a political union. Okay, good to talk to you. Thanks for your time. Nigel Farage Thank you. there for us in Brussels.